Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. For me, it is Thanksgiving day, as you saw by the thumbnail. Uh, for you, it is Tuesday. This video will be going up on Tuesday. And make sure that you come back tomorrow and check for a very special video. I don't usually post on Wednesdays, but I will have a very special one coming up tomorrow. So make sure that you come back 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, like usual. But today is Thanksgiving for me, so I thought I'd vlog today and share our family Thanksgiving with you. A lot of you have said in the comments that you hoped I had a good Thanksgiving. You know, my sister was in town and everything, but my sister is actually not in town for Thanksgiving. She, it's a long story, but her husband's family lives in North Carolina and they always spend Thanksgiving with his family and then Christmas with her family. So they are not here today. They actually left this morning and they're gonna briefly come back tonight and then leave town again tomorrow for a little while to go visit other places. So they'll be back though in December before Christmas, way before Christmas. So they are not here today, but I will still have 10 people. I will have Marion and I, our kids, their spouses, and then Patrick and my mom will be coming over. So we'll have 10 people total in my little house. It's always fun. It's always a full house. I just um, put the leaf in my table when I bought this table. I uh, finished the leaf too so that we could use it for things like this. So we'll see six here. I'm debating whether or not I should bring a coffee table and put it right here. And for the other four, or we could just use the uh, coffee table, which is what we've we've done both, and it doesn't really matter. We're actually not having um, Thanksgiving lunch. We're having Thanksgiving dinner because it worked better with everyone's schedules. So we're going to be eating ab about six o'clock. But I told everybody to come over, you know, afternoon whenever they wanted to. I know they're all doing things, so they'll trickle in as they can. So anyway, I am going to show you some of the things I made. So let me turn this TV down because this is so loud. So um. You've heard me talk a lot, oh, can't see. You've heard me talk a lot about Elena's special diet and she has a lot of diet restrictions because she had COVID and because of that, it's things that have developed as a result of that. So she and I sat down and planned our Thanksgiving dinner so that she could actually enjoy it because there's so many things she can't have like soy and dairy and so many things. And really soy is in like everything. So soy and dairy. Um, she's not vegan. She does eat meat, but um, she, it just has to be really without any anything extra. So we came up with a plan and almost everything she'll be able to eat. There will definitely be a few things she cannot eat, but um, she's going to be making a lot and I'm going to be making a lot and I'm going to make them, you know, like my mashed potatoes are going to have almond milk in them and no butter. Everybody can add their own butter and, you know, things like that. Um, the desserts. She won't be able to eat all of them, but... Um, I made like my carrot cake cupcakes that I've made before from her book from Kristen Cavallari's cookbook. They're so good. And she, I think she's making the cashew frosting, but I made the carrot cakes. She can eat those. She's making some pecan pie bars that she can eat. So that's exciting. I can't wait to eat that. And then I made a uh, jello fruit salad. Well, I'm going to finish making that jello fruit salad. And then Michael and Danielle are going to bring pumpkin pie. So, and then I also made just some sugar cookies. So there will be something for everyone. And then we're gonna do ham and turkey and all the things. And so hopefully most of the things she'll be able to eat. I'll show you what I made in a second, but um, also I have one of my dearest friends. Her birthday is tomorrow. She's turning 50 and there's a surprise birthday party. So she does watch my videos sometimes. So if you're watching Jennifer, uh, you will have already known. We have already surprised you, but I said I could make dessert and she, like me, is not eating sugar. So I made some sugar-free cupcakes and they're just a box mix. Their Pillsbury makes sugar-free cupcakes and icing, but I am gonna attempt to do a sugar-free buttercream. So we'll see, I'm gonna do chocolate and vanilla. So tonight maybe, or tomorrow, I'll do a little taste test and let you know what I think. <laughs> um, we'll see, we'll see. Jackson wanted to try it too, so. Anyway, um, I am gonna be vlogging tomorrow when we go to her party and probably like a Friday Saturday vlog maybe instead of a Saturday Sunday because Sunday I have another video I'm filming but anyway I'll show you the cup cupcakes I made I have to make that uh, buttercream in a little bit I've done too much talking though I feel like so I'll show you what I've made so these are the cupcakes half chocolate half vanilla and uh, I just have to make the buttercream so also I got these little things to go on top those will be cute and then I got some of these instead. We always do Rhodes Rolls for Thanksgiving, but I just thought this would be fun. I get these at Sam's and everybody devours them. These are my cute plates I got at Hobby Lobby. We have some leftover plasticware from Elena's wedding, so we're using that because it's kind of fancy. And then these are my uh, carrot cakes. 
that I made. They are delicious and actually healthy for you. There's no sugar in them. They're delicious. And then I got a few special drinks. We love the sparkling cider. Marion's favorite is sangria. I got cider just because I thought it'd be fun. And then white grape, that's Madison's favorite. I got Coke and I have lemonade. Got the little plates too. And then there's some cookies. Just Madison loves sugar cookies, so I made those. And then we're gonna have a charcuterie board just to like munch on until we eat because we're eating at six. So I just grabbed a few things from Walmart. I have some cheeses and some grapes and carrots and then Elena's gonna bring a few things too. Who is it? Who is it? You see Madison? Do you love her? So this is a family tradition. We have to have our jello fruit salad. We had this our entire childhood. So it would not be Thanksgiving without jello fruit salad. So I made this last night, just a regular um, box of cherry jello. And then you add a can of fruit cocktail, which you drain, and then you add a thing of Cool Whip. So I did the sugar-free Cool Whip and the no sugar added fruit cocktail just to try and make it less sugar. And it really, I don't think it's gonna be the dishwasher's on. I don't think it's going to be any difference in taste. This stuff literally tastes like regular Cool Whip. Everybody eats it and they don't even know. So I'm going to just drain this and sort of like chop this up and then you just mix it together and I'll stick it back in the fridge. How did you get up there you little stinker? <laughs> You are so cute. You are so cute. Yeah, it feels good out there. It's like in the 60s today. It's so nice. Anyways, back to my fruit salad. All right, it is, well, two, almost two o'clock, so I'm gonna put the turkey in. My turkey and my ham have to cook at different times, but I'm gonna try to cook them at the same temperature. Um, they cook, this is supposed to go 375, the ham is 325, so I'm gonna do 350 and hope it works. Just do this a little bit longer and the turkey, I mean, and the ham a little bit less. But I don't fool with a huge turkey. Um, Marion doesn't like turkey, and for a long time we've just had ham, but Jackson likes when I get like a little turkey breast. And this is just much more manageable for me. So we've got a big ham, but then we have this uh, turkey. So this is just a lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna make my cream corn. I'm gonna link my previous um, Thanksgiving vlogs in the description box because I did link this recipe down there, but it's super easy. You just throw it all in the crock pot, let it cook for a couple hours, and then you stir it. You, you add three cans of corn drained, pepper, stick of butter, thing of cream cheese, and then, sorry, the TV's really loud. We're watching Rudy. <laughs> and then also a cup of milk and I think a teaspoon of sugar, and it makes cream corn, which, um, it's kind of like Rudy's cream corn. If you're from Texas, you know what Rudy's barbecue is. It's really, really good. So um, this has to cook for a few hours. So it is now 2.30, so I'm gonna stick this in real quick.
Rudy is on TV. We've been watching Rudy. And I don't think I mentioned in this video yet, but today is Marion and I's 26th wedding anniversary. The year we got married, it was obviously a couple days after Thanksgiving, but I pulled out, I did a post on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you don't. I was looking through old pictures trying to find like some of our weddings, so I'll show you a couple. From our wedding, you know this was 26 years ago, so we didn't have anything digital, and it wasn't anything like it is now, so. Anyway, there's a couple, couple photos. It's crazy how long it's been. My mom, TV's loud, sorry. TV is so loud. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the ham ready to be put in. It's been, it's like almost four. And I need to also make my cranberry sauce. And I'm also going to get the charcuterie board ready because I'm like starving and I don't wanna be starving when it's time to eat. I've still, still got over two hours. So I'm gonna just not eat a lot, but try to, that way I won't be starving. Like I said in that video down below, um, from la I guess last Thanksgiving, I just made cranberry sauce. It's like literally the um, directions are on the back of the cranberry bag to make it. But this year I'm gonna use coconut sugar because Elena asked me to use coconut sugar instead of regular sugar and that's what I would want too. So, and I don't know how it's gonna work out. So we'll see, coconut sugar, it's like bigger pieces and it's brown and anyway, I'm gonna use that instead of regular sugar and we'll see how it goes. my little charcuterie board. Elena's still gonna bring like some hummus and think something else, but we're just gonna eat this right now while we're waiting for dinner. These are super good. I'll show you the package. It's these great value sea salt and black pepper crackers. And they were like less than two bucks. So good. White cheddar, Parmesan. That's like a summer sausage and then carrots and grapes. And I don't have like a board, charcuterie board. So I just covered a board with Parchment paper. 
Okay, so I made the cranberry sauce and I tasted it. It tastes pretty good, but I'm not sure if people will like it or not, you know, with the coconut sugar. It's um, a little darker than it normally would be because coconut sugar is brown. And it also, to me, coconut sugar kind of has like a burned smell to it or I don't know. I think it's pretty good and I'm going to let it cool. Definitely Elena will eat it and I will eat it. We're usually the, the ones that eat the cranberry sauce. And anyway, will, and Patrick eats anything. Eat so, and the ham and turkey are still cooking and this is looking good. I think, what time was it? Two o'clock when I did this. So in about 45 minutes, I'm going to stir it really good and then just like keep it on low. So, Cowboys are about to play um, traditional Thanksgiving game. Um, it is four, game starts at 4.30, so yeah, almost 4.30. And we're gonna sit down and watch that for a little while. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make my mashed potatoes pretty soon. Danielle's coming, I think I said that. Danielle's coming and she can help too. And then Elena and Andrew should be here soon. And I'm not sure when my mom's coming. I need to probably call her. on the dot and dinner is ready we are about to eat because we are starving my kitchen's kind of a disaster but it looks delicious Dinner was delicious. Okay. Everything Lewis. was delicious, and we are sufficiently it's stuffed. Short <laughs> stuffed. I haven't been this stuffed in a long time. Patrick's stories. talking to Elena. Um, we packed up all the stuff. I'm about to run the dishwasher, and that will be the third time in less than 24 hours. <laughs> but I think right now I'm gonna go ahead and make my. Um, oh wait, let's see. What did I make that I wanted to report back on? The mashed potatoes were delicious. The cranberry sauce was delicious. That turkey. It was like the Jenny O brand. It was seasoned. Best turkey I've ever had. So good. And the ham, Mary ate way too much ham, said it was delicious. And I think everything, everything was so good. Those Elena made pecan pie bars. Oh, so Ooh, good. Ooh, they were so good. And they were all like Ooh. real so good. good. Like coconut sugar oh, yeah. and maple syrup and the was the only sweetener. So anyway, so and full. But I'm gonna make my sugar-free, sugar-free icing now, buttercream on it. I'm going to attempt to because like I said, we have the party in the morning and I don't want to necessarily have to do it tomorrow. So I've got my butter been sitting out. It's nice at room temperature, so.
All right, um, the house is clean, the house is quiet, everybody's gone. My buttercream turned out really good. If you like, if you ever use, I'm, I'm gonna link the vanilla and the chocolate in the description box if you're interested. You have to use, well this recipe calls for swerve sweetener, and it's like a plant-based sweetener, and um, it leaves like a cooling sensation in your mouth when you eat it so if you're not expecting that it does do that but I like it like I, monk fruit sweetener does it too and I didn't like that but this one it was really good and I actually liked the chocolate a little bit more than the vanilla Danielle tried it she liked the vanilla better Michael really liked the vanilla um, it was really good and you'd never know it was sugar-free so um, I got those done I'm glad I got them done tonight so I don't have to do them in the morning I got everything cleaned up everybody's gone it was a wonderful visit my sister did come back on her way into town she stopped over for probably an hour and we just visited and, and she had some of our desserts and stuff and that was nice thank you all for hanging out with us today i love you i hope that you all in america had a wonderful thanksgiving and we'll see you guys in our next video bye